week of creating in our art journal. Yes, is this the fourth week that we've done this? I think, Maybe. I think this is, is week it? number four. How cool is that? Yeah. We are loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. We really look forward to encouraging you guys and getting some moments in, to create in art journals as well. Yes. There's, I don't know, where, where should we start today, Beth? Well, usually we do some <laughs> sort of a recap. We don't yes. have any giveaways today, do we? <gasps> we did. We did have a giveaway? I forgot to do it. <laughs> You're in luck. <laughs> because... Maybe, should we just keep adding to it and do a bigger giveaway for next That's week? a great idea. You guys, that maybe shows how our week went. <laughs> <laughs> we're back in the school, so we yes. were just focusing on that, yes. which was a, a super big honor to and be able to go in the school. Absolutely, absolutely. And you, I don't know, maybe you guys are doing this at home. It's tax, preparing your taxes oh, right now. So we worst. had to get all our things for the studio tax things going done. doing adulting yeah. things. oh yeah Not so the fun part so we are really excited to journal but made us forget the giveaway yeah so what was the giveaway i don't even remember um it was three of those snowman pennants <gasps> yes. and okay so this gives you guys more time what we asked was to share something that you wanted to create get done this week so this gives you a little bit more time to get it done there we go. If you're like yes. us and you need more time. Yes. You know what? I'm going to add in okay, please. some of my prints in <gasps> with this giveaway. Whoa. Yeah. I have some left over from our sale on Saturday. So Y'all I'll pick gorgeous. out one or two and I'll slide that in there. Maybe we'll find some more things to just keep making it a bigger thing. Yeah. 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 So maybe leave a comment on this video of a go. way that you are... Um, creating or something you want to get done. So we will just add all the comments names on this video I love it. into the giveaway and draw it next week. Yeah. Should we even say like bonus for whoever places an order? Oh, bonus entries for that's that. That's a great idea. Yeah. If you leave a comment and you also make an online order with us, here we go. That's double entries for you. Double entries. <laughs> Because you already, I mean, you marked down those candlesticks for a dollar. Yeah, girl, you're a great business person. I'm well, going to give you more of my hat. <laughs> Please take on more. Oh, you do such a good job of it, though. Oh, my goodness. You, you do. Guys. I love it. I put yeah. it up on my mantle at home. Your candlestick? Yeah. Awesome. It wasn't even painted yet? Not yet. I kind of like it. Even just like that. But it'll also remind me to paint it. Yeah. Because I have Reagan's, her daughter, painted one yes. a few years ago. And I have one of those. And so Your that girls are going to claim it. You're going to need another candlestick. Because they're both going to want to paint one. I know. Did, did she hydro dip that one? She did. Do you guys know what that is? Hydro dipping? It's uh, with spray paint and water, right? Yes. My so, girls and I tried it in the summer. It's super fun. You just fill up a bucket of water and then you spray paint the top of the water. It feels weird doing that. But you spray paint the top of the water and then just dip your item in and slowly dip it in, pull it back out, and paint just kind of clings to it. Yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of marbly. Yes, that's perfect wording. Yeah. yeah, it's super fun. I don't know where you would do it right now because spray paint doesn't really work outside in the cold. But yeah, wait till the summer. Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't want to... I wish for paint in here, though, sometimes when we don't have people coming. That's because true. Because it just fumes out while we're gone. But yeah. Um, but yeah, we are going to art journal today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun last week. Last yes. week, what did we do? We talked oh. about incorporating our kids' work. And then... What did we do last week? Why oh my am goodness. I we are all right today, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, we had a busy day. Uh, oh, we added words. Because I shared about my geese. Your geese. You oh, oh, and yes. I added this. We talked about the magazine thing. Yes. That's what it was. Words and quotes. And Let's I see, put have this any in there. friends joining us? If you guys are just joining us, we're really going to share an art journaling trick yes. or tip. Please leave a comment if you um, have any questions because we can, we can see you. Yes, so we can see you and say yes. hi. We'd love to do that. Yes, please feel free. Um, Yes, yeah, so, so yes, please. We added our magazine parts in there. Or printed out and things. She printed out those things. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, too, at the schools, we had some leftover art and we made some of these. Leftover paint. Leftover paint. I'm sorry, yeah. I said art. Yeah, didn't it's an art tool. Art. It's an art tool. All the kids want to clean their art and they are so good at it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so all the leftover paint, I have a really hard time washing that down the sink. <laughs> so we put them on these really cool yeah. papers and just let them drip and dry and they were really thick. 
This was so free. You've oh, seen us good. talk about making base coats and that's just like, enjoy the process. That's what this was. We literally just dumped the paint on, solid in gloves and just kind of took a brush and yeah. smoothed it out. Look at, um, is it on Spoonful Stories? Yes, on, on Instagram. our Instagram stories. Yeah. Yeah, it was so much fun. It so was. we're gonna journal with these today. Yeah. We're gonna reuse these papers in our journal. We also have this really cool tool. We are huge fans of these. They're um, called paint sticks or chunkies. It's a tempera paint, so it's washable in the form of a stick. Look at that, it has a lid on it. It does. This is the cleanest kind of paint. Yeah. This is great for toddlers and preschoolers because mm -hmm. It's washable, but it's just like a glue stick. Um, but it's paint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? I, was just, I didn't know if you were gonna say something else. I didn't want to cut you off. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we were talking yesterday that we were given some of these when we went to an art oh, conference, yeah. and we were kind of like, "What's that? I've never used that before." We just didn't know, and so we both had one for a and long it, time. Yeah, that and it that. We didn't yeah. use it. We didn't use it. I think. I think I thought it was more like a pastel and it would be And I thought messy. it was more like a crayon because even when it goes on, it can kind of look like a crayon. Yes. So it goes on wet, but if you give it a few seconds, it dries yeah, it just dries like any other paint. Seconds. It's super fast, but um, it took us a while to learn, but now we love these. And we don't actually have these in our store, but we have some really awesome art studio friends that do sell these. So if you like these today, we're gonna update this link, linking to one of their stores, and you could buy it from them, which is really cool. I almost, I didn't wanna, we didn't need to link it to Amazon. We'd love for you to support another art studio and purchase from them if you like these today. Yeah, and they're great for art journals because they dry really fast. Yep. So that's kind of the way that we've really, we have really used them. Yes. And I did use them when I was doing live um, preschool classes. I used them in yeah. my preschool classes and the kids really liked them too. Yeah. Um, so what's different than watercolors with them too is you can like really layer. You just kind of did this, right? Yeah, I did that. So we just like ready. acrylic paint goes on and can cover things up if you make mistakes. These paint sticks can also cover things up. Yeah. So, but they can also do fun things like. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's show your flowers. <laughs> I like your flowers. A lot. There's something wet on there. Um, yeah, so I did these flowers with the temper paint sticks. So I did go over it with like a mm -hmm. white gel jelly roll pen um, yes. just to give it that definition. But yeah, that's all done with the temper paint sticks. I did yep. the, a white and a purple and these are shades of green and you can even take your finger and kind of rub it and blend the colors together. Yes. I kind of did some here too. And also wanted to just show you that it's fun just for like a final technique. There's the page that I just, oh, that just fell off the oh. table. <laughs> um, let's see, oh, here, this one. Okay. Yeah. I love it just to add like final coloring too, um, just to do like a little pop, so. Yeah, and you can also see your bubble wrap. That's what yes. we're gonna show today. How you, they can paint on bubble wrap, so. Yeah, it's like a stamp. You just mm -hmm. smooth it on your bubble wrap and it kind of gives it that repeating. Hi, Leah, Leah. Leah, Leah do you have your art you? journal right now? She's at Grace College, so uh, creating in a dorm room, and I love that. Yeah. So maybe you are journaling live with us, but I'm sure you'll journal this weekend, if yes. not right now. So I love seeing everyone's pages too. So if you're doing yes. it, make sure you show us. So I just painted that bubble wrap with yes. my stick and I'm gonna stamp it right on oh, here. I love it. And Can that is a here? smaller circle than, uh, than your the one bigger. I had on there. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So, so I'm cool. gonna pick it up to show you guys, okay? So right here, I had put that purple on this morning and you can see the pop of the little circles. I love that girl. So fun. This, I don't know why, but I love stamping bubble wrap. I think it just gives, you know. It does a lot but like with a punch, like it doesn't take a lot of work, but it, yeah. the impact, is that the way to say it? The impact does a lot. The impact. The impact. Yes. I am starting by just coloring, or coloring, I'm cutting. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm cutting right now. I saw a rainbow in this uh, paper. So I'm kind of cutting out a rainbow shape. 
It's so pretty. Oh, I love that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom part. Yeah. And we can glue it right into your art journal. How cool is that? Oh, I couldn't paint You're a so rainbow that, that fine. I know. All right, so this is pretty much dry. So I'm gonna do the same thing, except for I'm gonna cut out a pocket with I this love piece of that. paper. So let me see, what is the color? What could you put in your pocket? Oh my goodness, when oh, it's in your art right. journal. Okay, so right now I have a few stickers that I know I wanna put in there. Um, in my other pocket, the page I was just on, right here. I have a little pocket right oh, here yes. and I have two stickers that I wanna put in there. So I, I love just it. So you could take it? your art journal in the pickup line and you have some supplies right here to yes. like start. That start also reading. reminds me too, my daughter, we were talking about kids' art a few weeks ago. Oh, yes. She had made the cutest little penguins on her art, or that she made at art, um, and she didn't want to keep it, but they were so cute. So I took the penguins, and I thought I'd put them in here, but that would have been a good idea to put them in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't get lost. See? That's why you need another that's pocket. That's why you need another one. <laughs> uh, or that's why I need it. Unless it was in here, but no, it's in Oh, wait, there! Oh my oh, gosh, good. how cute. It was meant to be. Look at how cute these are, you guys. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Three little I penguins. Love that. So I gotta find a page for that. Yes. I'm gonna put them in my pocket for now so they so don't, don't get, get lost. lost. That's so cool. We'll see if I have time to put them on there. Oh my goodness. So check out my rainbow so far. I have cut out from my recycled painted paper and oh. I just used this stick and it's half on the regular paper, half on the like already colored um painted paper so see how well it works and it is still a little wet let me go ahead and just show you oh wow see look how fast that dried oh there you go oh yeah so you can kind of like how it's smeary like that. it smears a little bit but down here it's already dry it's not really smearing that much so the paint sticks are super fun super easy to create with and not a big mess yes i was just we were talking about the rips last week i think i want that ripped look because you've done that in some of your new oh. journals. It's like rip yes. some of Because then it shows papers. the brown, yeah. like textured, but leaves some of the color. That paint is so thick to rip off. <laughs> was that fun? It was so fun. I love that. I'm going to do that. Oop, did you hear those pops? I'm going to paint over um, bubble wrap too because I love the repeating pattern. And I'm going to stamp it in my clout. See oh, how that's that a good idea. Oh, I love that. It so gives it fun. just a subtle white look. Subtle. Might be hard to see on camera so far away, but we'll try it again. So fun. Leah <laughs> likes the sticks too. <laughs> I love it. So I'm gonna hold it up way close. Can you guys see this? I don't know, but it has some polka dots right there in the blue cloud. I love it. So fun. What now, an inviting page. Like, I wish I you. had a page like that. I might you can have do it. to copy. You can do it. <laughs> Be ins I am inspired, inspired by you. You can inspire one another. That's right. I think I'm going to watercolor the back of it and add another quote. Quotes are like my theme right now. Like yes. Songs, quotes. I know, all of that. I feel like every page for me needs a word or a quote. <laughs> it needs something. Well, that was an idea you had, too, to cut um, letters out of this yes. to make a word. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. You guys could even let your kids help you with this part. It would be super fun, and then you could incorporate it into an art, art journal together. Um, oh, and, oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, here's my pocket. I just glued the edges of it so that way, and I'll let it dry before I completely use it. But there girl, it is. I love it. It pops really good on that paper. Yeah, I like, like against the pastels. I like it. Sorry. Yeah. So, you guys, I hope you're able to create this weekend and just spend a little time enjoying the process, getting your hands a little bit messy, creating for you. Um, let us know if there's something you would really like to see next yeah. week. And we'll be back with another art journaling trick and tip and a giveaway. Oh, yes. Yeah, we will do our giveaway next week. And make sure that you comment and order something for bonus. Yes. Um, yes. yes. And we are just having a lot of fun doing this. So Yes. Thank and you. show us pictures. Oh, my goodness. We I love seeing pictures. what you're doing. So, yeah, please feel free to show us your pictures. Tag us. Uh, we'll update this link with uh, a link to our friend's art studio so you can buy the um, paint sticks from them if you're interested in using them at home as well. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.